Hello, everyone. Hello, Fernando. We're back here at Zureta now to talk about Z shell um, on your Windows. We're using Windows Subsystem for Linux. Fernando, we're going to show your local environment. How are you playing with that? Yes, so, uh, George. So first, how hi. Uh, there's a thing like I'm using a very cool terminal on, on the Windows, and sometimes my colleagues ask, "Oh, how do you do that? What's that?" So I show how to set up the Z shell, the all my Zish, and the plugins I use at work uh, to show how it's possible to work to have like a development environment, Linux development environments on Windows, in, and very cool. So I share my screen, and I have um, I have um, a virtual machine here running on Azure to show this demo. Right, so I, I have here installed the Windows system for Linux 2, but it runs on WSL 1 or 2, whatever you want. The 2 is the best, but sometimes you can't use it. I have here the Windows terminal and a Ubuntu, the same Ubuntu you get the start. There is nothing special, right? So first thing, this terminal, you know, like, if you go here, you have folders, and you would like to go to demo to this folder demo, demo one with bash. We can't go. We need to do CD demo one, right? So, you know, first step, we need to install the the Z shell Z S H. So do update install. You have to do sudo update update, but I did that a couple of seconds ago, right? Do sudo update install Zish is the first requirement. And to install, let's make my window bigger, a little bit bigger. Well, Fernando, to, if you don't know, like if you have Windows subsystem for Linux 2 now, we have a full Linux kernel and you can do like, you know, install almost anything that you can install Linux. It's a full Linux now. Yeah, it's a full functional Linux. It's awesome. So I have now the Z shell. I want to show you what this Z shell. You do ZS8 and it will load the shell. And I have like a naked Z shell. And where I am, I'm on my home, right? Let's clear this. Remember, I have this demo one and demo two. Now I can do like demo one, enter. Oh, this don't work yet because I need all my Z, right? So let's go back to my bash here and I show. I show here, so this is the all my Zish homepage. You go here, all my Zish.sh, right? And here there are the instructions how to install. We can install via CURL or wget, it's up to you. And I think this Ubuntu comes with, yeah, it comes with CURL, so it's, we can do it. And it's cloning the Omazish repository on my computer, and it's asking if I like to change by default, asking my root password, right? Now I have the Omazish, it's naked. If you like to go back to your bash, just type bash, you open the bash. If you exit, you go back here. Uh, to show the shells you have available, you we have a file here, I don't remember, is the Etsy, like you can see this Etsy slash shells, you see all shells you have. And if you like to change, there is a command called C8 for change S8. And you can, we can change back again to our bash. Uh, it's not working, but it's okay. We can change it back again, right? Or you can type the name, but okay. This only is on my Zish, there is no plugins, there is nothing. Let's do the magic here, right? So on the on the home, I'm on the home. There is um, uh, there is a file here that's the Zish RC. It's like the Bash RC, but for Zish, right? So we need to edit this file to activate what we want. I use the Visual Studio Code to edit it, and it's installing the extension. Opening. That that's a nice thing of Linux on Windows. You can just use a full, you know. Hey, you use your 
a graphical environment. This is like a seamless integration. This is very cool. You have Windows and Linux. So this Zish RC is a file that everything is commented explaining how it works. The first thing I would like to show, I would like to change the theme, right? The themes you can, if you make like a search here for Zish themes, like this I did on Bing, right? I just searched Zish themes. Uh, I found this, the Zish themes dot yes. Here is one example we have we have a uh, oh i think i got the wrong site but uh the, there there is some oh uh, here is that page is slash all right is this teams that has slash all you see you have a plate of tens you know f magic half hour for our taste we have a, te a team like apple Aussie Geek, you have a team that will make you happy, right? The team particularly I like is called Agnoster. It's like a very popular one. So let's go back here to my configuration file on the Zish team. I will change here the name to Ag Agnoster. I will save it here. Another, uh, I think I think we should go. We should try the Aussie Geek. Just because you oh, are living oh, in oh. Australia. <laughs> oh, oh, really? I, no, no, you can try later. That's fine. Uh, Go okay, for yours. Yeah, yeah, but this is a good idea. But I think it's better to try this one. And uh, here, okay, I changed the team, and now you need to reload the configurations. Use this common source. Uh, you pass uh, Zish RC. You pass the file name. You load. Okay, I got here an issue because I have this. Oh, now, okay, I can see I have the plugins working, but I have this square. Let's resolve this problem. You need to have like um, a font that supports these, uh, these arrows. You see what I'm talking about? You, you can use like the NED fonts or you can use the Microsoft uh, Cascade code. So I like this Cascade code. Yeah, I like as well. I yeah, I like this Microsoft Cascade Code. Just support the people from from Microsoft that developed that. I'm always following on Twitter, uh, the guys. So we we go to this page on GitHub.co Microsoft slash Cascade dash code, and we go here to release uh, and download here the package. And when you download the the font you really need is is this one Cascadia Mono PL, right? You click here, you install the font. Okay, now my Windows have ha, my Windows ha, ha, has this font. And here on, on the terminal, you go to the Desaro settings. And because I would like to use this font, this font in all uh, in all my terminals, I go here on profiles. I will add here is a fixed font face, but you see the Intel settings here is working, is helping. Cascadia Mono PL. Oh, PL. And look how it's cool. On the moment. I you press I you press here Control S to save. In the moment I you press the, it, you change. Okay, the font has is changed. And uh, this net fonts like Cascade Accounts has these um, these arrows, right? It, the first thing you need. So let's talk about the plugins, right? Let's do again a code. Now, now as you can see, like I'm doing the things, but I don't have. A, Cool, out complete. I have nothing, but I have the Git plugin. If you do here the code, Zish RC, there is there is a part of the file that's called plugins. The only plugin I have here right now is Git. I will show how it works. For instance, this Git, if you are working here on that demo one, is like a Git repo. I created like only for the demo purpose. If you do here a file, um, 
as a retire. OK, it's yellow because I have anything that has changed. So another thing I have on this Git plugin, I can type GA for Git add as a retire. Now I, I know I have, I can do a Git a G status because the alias as a retire. I can do here a GC. I know it's a git commit dash M add the retar. And I can do, oh, I have to configure my, my credentials, not my mail. My credentials is already configured into my name here. And now I do my git commit add as a retar and the GP for git push. OK, it's uh, all right, push it. Right, and if you like to check what are these alias we are using, just type alias. Uh, and this plugin added these things, all these, these Git things we, we have here uh, we are using. Oh, I'm lost here. Clean and, and do, do again alias. Oh, OK. Now I know where these things start. So here we can see how commands you do, like git stash, all these letters represents and the shortcuts that are configured, right? So let's show the plugins um, that you make the terminal really cool, uh, the plugins that I'm using at my work right now. Let me copy here because I have like an extensive list. Where is my plugins? I think it's it's here on the on the chat. Okay, I have my plugins. Now let's go to my let's go uh, back here my home. Let's edit my Zish RC file. So how to install the plugins? Here we can just add the plugins here. We can add on the same line, or you can use a tab. Be aware to don't use space before uh, before before the plugin because it will cause some problems, right? Just to make it easy to read. Oh, I think Ansible Terraform is like separate. yes, uh, it's not. It's all together here. Yes, uh, we have to to separate this, yep. and I think maybe an extra white space here. I will save this before reload. Let let me show where this plugin comes from. Right on the Zish repo. Uh, on the all my Zish repo, we have this folder plugins. So all these plugins are default. You can use it out the box like the Git. You just add the name, but some plugins are additional. I show you, for instance, the plugins I'm using here. Git, I showed you, the, it, it has the alias for the Git commands and it shows the Git, the stats of the Git you are using each folder. This Zish out suggestions, this is the, my favorite. But this this one didn't come by default. I show how to install it. Ansible has a lot of alias for Ansible. Terraform has alias and autocomplete for Terraform, and you use TF and you do apply plan anything only press tab. In. Sudo helps you when you forgot to use sudo in a comment when you forget. Timer is very cool because it shows how long it takes to run each comment. This syntax highlight is cool because it shows, I'll show you, it shows like green from the right command, uh, red from the wrong command, and the Docker helps with the out completion uh, and helps remove uh, issue we have, right? So I think when we reload this, you will get some errors because this syntax highlight and the out suggestion, so it's saved. Let's run here on my terminal again, source, Dash Zish RC. Okay, exactly what I told. And but now if you do a comment, we have the timer working here. This comment was really fast, but let's show you guys how to install these extra plugins, right? So here uh, we have we have this folder here. 
is omizish.omizish, that's a hidden folder. Actually, I'm on omizish, I can just type that. I'm inside the folder. That means that some plugins come out of the box and some we have to download. Yes, like all of this list I showed come out of the box. You will only need to fill the name, or the plugin name on the configuration files. Yep. And other plugins you have to, to install. Now what I'm showing, these plugins like, I, this folder here, dot oh my zish, is this Git repo, like exactly these files you have here on the Git, on these Git repos is what is on, it, it, we are using, and we are using, uh, now I show this folder plugins. This folder plugins, uh, here I have exactly the same plugins I, I'm saying GitHub. What I have to do with these additional plugins? I have to add to this folder. They have another way to install if you look like, for, for instance, this is this out suggestions. You come here, they explain how to install. We have another method to install, but my particular method is I got here uh, the repo address and I do here a git clone here and I'm cloning the git suggestions and the second plugin is this and oh, I think I forgot there is the Zish users uh, project um, repo on GitHub and you have here like a new new plugins. You have a lot of new plugins that uh, the community is making, right? So let's clone these syntax highlights. Oh, I'm using git clone, but I, I could use gclone syntax highlight. Now, now that I'll, uh, I have our plugins, let's do again source because I'm another folder home slash uh, zishrc and repair all my comments now are like single color we have no auto completion right let's load okay it it has load now if i start to type again look now i'm times so is not a comment so it's red but if i type source it becomes green because my system has and the last time it's based on history if you do here a history, uh, so the, uh, I have here the history. For instance, if it, uh, it starts touch Azure tar because I just typed that. I have all, all these comments working out of the box. And like, look, this is awesome. Like the system is trying to guess what I'm trying to, to do. Uh, if you like to use the autocomplete here, you to complete what you are seeing in your screen, you use the uh, arrow right to complete, or if you like to use the Linux out complete the tab, they are different, right? And just to finalize it, I would like to show you how to create like an alias. alias. Uh, now I have this alias that comes with the git thing and the ansible. But if you like to have like an additional alias, I show like because all, all the time I'm doing this code, I I copy this because I'm lazy. I don't like to copy a lot. So not to copy. I like to copy. I don't like to type. You go here. There is this example alias, and here is just do alias space. Let's let's call it CZ because it will be like between cz equals between quotes code zish co uh, and to make it in the potent let's do it home zish and let's create a command to do the same thing with the source i will change here the c for s and the code here for source so it will be the last time i will type and uh, this thing, right? Uh, now source. And now, now it's all good. If you like to configure something, I just do CZ, and then you get the visual code on the configuration file. Uh, and if I like to 
to change. Let's check a new plugin here. What you can do? Do you have any suggestion for plugins, George? Ah, you told about the themes. You would like to try this this theme here. I remember Aussie, Aussie, Aussie Geek. Geek. Aussie Geek. Let's change the theme, right? Let's change the theme here. Uh, where is the team configuration? Is on the oh, it's like is uh, let's remove the agnostic and let's use this Oz Geek here. And uh, I hope this comes out and it's safe. Now I can now I can test your yeah, CZ. Yeah, so <laughs> oh no, okay, no. Uh, and I have one. Oh, Git works here, like we. Check out. Ah, here I can use G. Check check out uh, dash B uh, Oz and I'm on my brush Oz. It's awesome, no? Yeah, it's not bad. Like, and the so is working you, you, fine, and yeah, it looks good. Yeah, uh, you, you can have like a. a you can improve your productive using these omazish. And you can have a nice terminal and the other things you could customize. You have these settings here or from the new Windows terminal. And if you do here a search, Windows terminal settings, you do here uh, our Windows terminal settings. And here you have here all, all parameters you can change to personalize like your font, your font size, everything you like to personalize to make like a built terminal you have. And today I hope you learn how to, you have learned how to make a terminal more productive using Omazish on Windows. All right. So if you liked our channel, please subscribe, give your like on the video and activate for the notifications to get the updates and Thanks, George. Ciao. Thank you, Fernando. It was great. Yeah, follow us and recommend the channel. And thanks for this great work. Yeah, Zed Shell, I think, is my, you know, is the Mac users, uh, very popular on Mac, you know, uh, between Mac users. Let's bring that to Windows now and you can uh, have the same. Mac users, you feel like home on Windows, right? Yeah, sure thing. Yes, and can and we forgot, we can run Docker, like Singlass. Docker is working. In, on WSL2, Docker, Docker is working perfectly. Let's say I'm only using Windows now, no more Linux or reboot on the work. So Great. that's it. Thanks, George. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.